Welcome back. A promising new organization that's launching this fall has grand aspirations to help the planet by working with an unexpected local industry. First Local's Rosalind Horn explains. Most of Sustainable Waterloo's first clients won't have any of these. In fact, the not-for-profit will actually be targeting high-tech companies to help them reduce their carbon emissions. They do that initially by implementing the development of a, a, a regional carbon dioxide reduction target to which companies will vol voluntarily abide. The inspiration for this initiative was taking out of a similar program operating out of Silicon Valley since 2001. They've been working with 67 of that area's biggest players, including Adobe, Cisco and Intel. And they reduced emissions last year of 700,000 tons. And, so, and they're, they're doing it in a way that actually reduces emission and saves money too. So it really makes lots of sense. They're targeting the high-tech community initially because they have the opportunity to be proactive as their industry has not yet been regulated with regards to carbon dioxide emissions. There's an opportunity for them to, to step up in, in, in advance of this reg regulation, address the, the needs of a younger workforce that's really asking for more of their organizations than just to focus on the financial bottom line uh, and, and really to, to focus on a holistic strategy that talks about uh, finances, social goals, as well as environmental goals. The supportive response they're receiving from the local tech community as well as members of government is important since 40% of any Canadian organization's emissions are based not on production but facility costs like heating and cooling. I really think that this model is new and it's exciting and it offers great hope for uh, these uh, businesses who really need to understand how much uh, carbon emissions they have and help have a, a, a group like uh, sustainable Waterloo, help them blueprint and map out uh, a, a solid plan for how they're going to deal with it in the future. Sustainable Waterloo is planning on launching this fall, helping corporations across the region reduce their emissions. But they are still seeking out founding partners to each provide at least $10,000 of initial project funding. In Waterloo, Rosalind Horn, First Local.